problem of plenty agriculture the claimed agrarian reforms sound impressive as does the blitz announcing them, but the distress of the landless and marginal farmers is real and extreme. Will this apparent dissonance cost Modi? No other government in India's recent history claims to have done so much for agriculture as the Narendra Modi-led NDA government. From doubling farm incomes by 2022, renaming the Ministry of Agriculture the Agriculture and Farmers Welfare Ministry, transferring 6,000 rupees per year directly into the bank accounts of small and marginal farmers, guaranteeing minimum support price, MSP, with 50% additional payment, issuing soil health cards, setting up in arms and grams to revamping 99 big incomplete canal irrigation projects, the list of agricultural reforms the NDA government purports to have undertaken is long. Simultaneously, there has been record farm production of cereals, vegetables, fruits, milk and fish. Yet, the rural countryside is afflicted with economic distress. The rate of unemployment is high and cases of farmers' suicides continue to rise. What explains this gap between promise and performance? Consider the following data. Despite the promise of doubling farm incomes by 2022, the agricultural growth rate at an average of 2.9% from 2014 to 2019 has been much lower under the NDA regime compared to the OP years. See adjacent graph. The slow agricultural growth has been accompanied by serious dips in wage growth. Rural wages grew at an estimated 3.8% year-on-year in December 2018. Factor in the rate of inflation, at 1.5%, and the real rate drops down to a paltry 2.3%, the lowest ever in the past 15 years. Combined with low farm produce prices, this has led to widespread rural distress fueling farmers' protests across the country, especially since the summer of 2017. What ails Indian agriculture? For one, the sector was hit by two back-to-back -back droughts between 2014 and 2016. In the southern parts of the country, particularly in Tamil Nadu, the winter rains failed for an additional third year. Alarmingly, however, Rural distress conditions continue in most parts of the country despite two normal monsoons between 2016 and 2018. Where did the NDA government go wrong? Noted agricultural economist and former JNU Vice-Chancellor Yogendra Kailik delineates three reasons for continued distress. First, the focus of the reforms is not on covering the last mile, the landless laborers and tenant farmers those outside the market with no access to the electronic systems suffer since no land registration records are completed. Second, he says, the terms of trade are unfavorable to farmers, that is the difference between the input prices that farmer buys and the prices that farmers sell it is not in the farmer's favor, therefore, the farmer's income keeps falling. Alig also laments the winding up of the planning commission, of which he was a part, by the Modi government. The Niti Aayog has not been able to replace the planning commission, and the FEME has no financial powers. Hence, in the absence of a nodal agency, there is lack of coordination between the various ministries and states, there is no proper assessment of the NDA government's agricultural initiatives. The farmer is directly paid from funds allocated by the finance ministry which has neither the expertise of distributing funds across the country nor independent agencies to assess the complexity of agriculture, say other experts. Noted economist Jean Dries argues that the phenomenon of lower wage rates accompanying low agricultural growth led to a fall in the demand for work. Delayed or rejected payments also result in farm workers getting inadequate compensation. Delayed payments continue despite technological interventions such as the Ardha Payment Bridge System APBS, and National Electronic Fund Management System FMS, mainly due to a weak grievance raid race so system. Agenda for election so serious is a farm crisis that, along with rising rural unemployment and underemployment, it has emerged on top of the electoral agenda in the 2019 Lok Sabha election. Highlighting both issues, 
the opposition Congress even incorporated party president Rahul Gandhi's announcement of Anaya Antamaya Yojana NYAY, in its election manifesto. With Garibi Pavar, Bahadra Hazar, War on Poverty, 72,000, as its slogan, the scheme promises to transfer 72,000 rupees a year directly into the accounts of the bottom 20% of households. In response, the BERP's the 8th of April manifesto promises an expenditure of 25 lakh crore rupees in five years in rural areas, zero interest loans of up to 1 lakh rupees for five years on Kisan credit cards, pensions to all small and marginal farmers above 60, and extension of the PM Kisan Samman Nidhi scheme to all farmers. The reform push assessing the key agricultural measures of the Modi regime, National Agriculture Market, in arm objective, launched in April 2016, the electronic national agriculture market was aimed at linking existing Agricultural Produce Marketing Committee APMC, Mendis, markets, in different states on a single electronic portal where agricultural commodities could be traded. It was to be a single window platform for all APMC-related information and services. So far, 585 Mendes across 16 states and two union territories are registered on the portal. The total volume of trade this year up to the 28th of February, 2019 was 2.2 lakh million tons with a value of 604.72 crore rupees. Outcome, it was intended as a significant advance in agricultural marketing and trade, but not all states have amended their APMC acts to be able to join an arm. It is also inaccessible to small and marginal farmers who make up 86% of India's farming population. There is still no mechanism to assess quality. Soil Health Card's objective, in 2015, the NDA government launched Soil Health Cards, SHCs, to be issued free once in three years to all farmers for six crops of their choice. The card informs farmers about the nutrient status of the soil, the recommended dose of nutrients to improve soil fertility in order to grow crops of his or her choice. The use of SHCs will help bring about soil amendment, optimal use of nutrients, which will reduce excess water, salinity and alkalinity in the soil, says Ashok Dulvai, Additional Secretary, Ministry of Agriculture. Outcome, distribution has been uneven, with states such as Chhattisgarh, Andhra Pradesh and Rajasthan claiming over 95% success in distribution and other states such as Bihar, West Bengal and Telangana languishing behind with rates under 50%. Pradhan Mantri Krishi Sinchei Yojna Objective, on 1 July, 2015, the NDA government launched the Pradhan Mantri Krishi Sinchei Yojna, PMKSY with an outlay of 50,000 rupees crore for five years. Linking different departments of the government agriculture, rural development and water and land resources the scheme identified 99 projects that had been incomplete for almost two decades to take up for implementation on an immediate basis. The scheme was meant to extend the coverage of irrigation exemplified by the slogan Harket Kopani, HKKP and improve water use efficiency incorporated in the promise of more crop per drop. It was to be an end-to-end -end solution from source creation, distribution, management, field application to extension activities. Outcome, while the PMKSY promised 50,000 rupees crore to be invested to achieve her kit Kopani, according to a response in the Lok Sabha on December 2018, the outlay has been only 9050 rupees crore from 2015 to 16 to 2019 to 20 says agricultural economist Ashok Gulati most of these projects have not been completed till now and the majority of incomplete projects in states such as Maharashtra face inordinate delays and allegations of corruption minimum support price objective an election promise of the BAP the last time the minimum support price was increased to one and a half times the farmer's cost of production in budget 2017. The devil, though, lay in the detail, please, the method of calculating MSP. While farmers' organizations have been demanding the C2 method of calculation in which land, rent, 
supervision and management costs are included in the cost of production, the NDA government is using the A2 plus FL method, actual paid out costs plus an imputed value of unpaid family labor, which farmers organizations dismiss as a mockery of our demand. Outcome even though it is not the formula the Swami Natan committee recommended, MSP plus 50 percent does work because of price and procurement. In the past, procurements was available only for wheat and paddy. Under the PM Ashaf scheme, MSP has been fixed for 23 commodities, pulses, oil seeds, millets, cotton and jute. Procurement for pulses and oil seeds together constitutes 10 million tons. 75,000 rupees crore has been transferred to farmers in the last four years of the Modi regime because of procurement of other commodities minus wheat and paddy, says Dilwati. Dr. Sukhbal Singh, an agricultural economist at IM Ahmedabad, argues, procurement problems are different for different states, and MSP solutions have to be devised accordingly, while western states like Punjab and Haryana have procurement systems in place. Eastern states like Bihar don't. Grameen agricultural market, gram objective, for the small and marginal farmers who cannot directly transact at APMCs, the NDA government aimed to upgrade 22,000 small village markets to Grameen agricultural markets, grams. The physical infrastructure for these grams was to be strengthened via MNREGA and a sum of 55,000 rupees crore was allocated. Exempt from APMC rules, grams can help farmers sell directly to consumers and bulk buyers. Outcome, most rural hearts are makeshift weekly or bi-monthly arrangements. Even as agriculture ministry officials prepare flashy booklets for official presentations, farmers wait in mile-long queues to get their produce weighed and valued. Most MNREGA funds allocated end up in paying agricultural workers and are barely enough. The concept of an agricultural market in India needs to be created, it simply doesn't exist with a few exceptions, says economist Yoginder Kailag. Without basic infrastructure, amenities and information, linking rural hearts electronically doesn't make sense, he adds. Please save trees and nature, please subscribe my channel.